For decades, Israeli farmers have plowed their trade on this prime real estate, the shores of the Sea of Galilee. But what we'll show you on this farm today are fruits and vegetables that can be grown anywhere in the Middle East and in any climate. Ariel Global Links is one of the companies perfecting the best technology to do this, hydroponic farming, grown in these greenhouses, a completely controlled environment. As you can see, this is the hydroponic. This is the pipe. In 1,000 square meters, I can grow uh, between 8,000 to 9,000 maximum lettuce. In the same size of the area, with hydroponic, I can do 40,000. It's times four, more than what you can grow in a soil. The key is these water tubes. Other than the earth that's holding this little plant together that will grow, of course, in the future, it's only using water and the chemicals that are added in the water for its growth. But in a water-scarce Middle East, how is water-based growth optimal? It is if you can recycle it. We have a cleaning system. We have water supply system, water bag system. So everything is working in one scenario. And it can all be controlled, how else, but through an app. We have a smart house these days and a smart greenhouse. Yeah, this is a smart greenhouse. Less resources, more production, and tastier. Here we go. Freshly grown kohlrabi in a hydroponic farm. Very fresh, very good. There's nothing like eating it straight out of the ground, I would say, but this isn't the ground. And that's good because some ground is not suitable for agriculture, like the desert environment in the Gulf. The hydroponic, this is the answer for them. We can grow it in any climate. And that's what they're doing constructing hydroponic farms in the desert outside Ras al Khaime, an hour's drive north of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Here you can see the stark contrast between the country's spectacular skyscrapers and its agricultural infrastructure. But that's changing. For this project, it's coming in almost 2,000 square meter of area is coming. So about 300 uh, different types of parts are coming. So we need to assemble. No need to fabricate anything extra. After completing the first project, I think it will be very easy for us to like that, gain experience in these things and we can convey this information and this experience to others also. So we teach the people from the country to work. We, we, we take from Israel the computers, everything automatic. And making this a truly regional partnership is the expertise of Muhammad Adnan Hussein, an agricultural engineer from Syria working for an Israeli company. I want uh, to start a new relation, and I'm uh, the first man who assist to uh, make this project for all the area. I'm starting with Japan, and I will do it, in, inshallah. In the Emirates, at least, there will be more projects, and not just in agriculture. According to Sheikh Abu Amar Khomeid al Noemi from Ras al Khaime, who is financing the construction. Uh, I decided to be part of this project because this hydrophonic system of agriculture is the best worldwide. Of course, there will be uh, future uh, business between us and uh, Israel because our leadership is uh, uh, very wise and uh, very brave. And uh, they study uh, all uh, the aspect of this partnership between the uh, United Arab, Arab Emirates and Israel. And they know that it is the best for the region. Growing plants, growing partnerships for a better future from the ground, or rather above the ground, up.